What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. So we're talking about several different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 7, some, some slight Scream 6 talk I guess. We'll be talking about Maxine. We'll be talking about the I Know What You Did Last Summer upcoming Legacy sequel. And we'll be rounding it out with Chucky Season 3. So Guy Busick shared a lovely tidbit on Gale and Sam's progressions that could play out in Scream 7 going forward. Guy made a mention of this during his interview with Mike from We Watched a Movie and it was mostly just acknowledging how Gale and Sam in a lot of ways need each other right now. That consistent theme of family that is present in every Scream film is more than present of course in Scream six and gail is coping with dewey's death clearly while sam and tara are clearly coping with their mom cutting them off and of course all the other drama sam was dealing with as well as tara and just what they went through not too long ago in woodsboro so sam could be looking at gail as a mother figure possibly while sam or while Gail is looking at Sam as another opportunity, I would say, to build a family again, since she herself admitted that her parents sucked just as much as Sam and Tara's mom sucks. So that brief detail about Gail was really nice, too, to find out that she comes from potentially a broken family as well. So guys remarks just had me going well how can this be used in scream 7 could we potentially see gail and the carpenters as a family in scream 7 like imagine the carpenters living with gail and she's just helping them while they figure out what to do with life uh she could be helping tara get through college she could be helping sam get on her feet and she could have just given them access to just stay with her for as long as it takes them to figure out what the hell they need to do because she has the money she can afford it she can take care of them that would just be a great thing to see if they decide to do an angle like that in scream 7 could you see that brief moment we saw between sam and gail blossoming into something like that in scream 7 you guys can let me know down in the comment section below i wouldn't mind seeing that actually but i just thought the guys comments were pretty pretty interesting and got me thinking but jumping into maxine maxine is officially filming and some new details have been confirmed thanks to production weekly and k of course uh shout out to you maxine will pick up a few years after x we already knew this with maxine now trying to make it as an actress in hollywood however these plot details say she's going to be going under a new identity so is she adopting a stage name that's what the newest bit of info in this production listing has me thinking but the plot does say that she's trying to leave the past behind while becoming the star that she wants to be. Now, the previous rumored roles about who is playing a director and detectives, those are also confirmed here as well. So Kevin Bacon will be trying to solve the case of whatever madness unfolds in Hollywood in the upcoming Maxine film, which we know will be the concluding chapter, I would assume, to Ty West's X trilogy. What do you guys think Maxine's new identity will be, though? Do you think it's simply a stage name she uses or will it be deeper than that? So far, far the plot the plot details do point towards it being a little bit more complex than a stage name but we'll see uh that tidbit about her having a new identity i hadn't seen that populated anywhere so when i saw this under this production weekly listing i said hey that's a little bit interesting she's gonna have a new name what do you think that name could be i, I can't even think of anything off the top of my head of what she would be going by uh, in in maxine besides just what her name is maybe for whatever reason what if she calls herself pearl that's a possibility she could call herself pearl in reference to the woman that she killed in self-defense but she still killed her but that's a possibility her her stage name could be pearl but we can jump into the i know what you did last summer topic the I Know What You Did Last Summer Legacy sequel could very well be a direct sequel to that first movie. And the reason I say that is because ever since it was announced, there's been the question of, well, is I know I still know what you did last summer going to be relevant. But now it's seeming more and more likely that that sequel is not going to be relevant. The production weekly listing for the movie has it titled as I Know What You Did Last Summer 2. If you were going to be acknowledging the actual second film, this would be I Know What You Did Last Summer 3, correct? So that leads me thinking they're ignoring I Still Know What You Did. But the production weekly listing does have Jennifer Love Hewitt and Freddie Prince Jr. attached who he has already kind of denied his particip participation, but both still, still seem to be attached to the film no matter what, but we'll see how all of that goes. We know the success of the recent Scream movies is what prompted Sony to consider reviving this IP. With the title being listed again as I Know What You Did Last Summer 2, it would appear that the chances of Brandy returning are now even slimmer. But I will say this, even if the I Know What You Still Did Last Summer movie is ignored, this can't be any worse than that third movie. 
A true legacy sequel that ignores the second film is something I can live with, especially after how many times the Halloween franchise has decided to ignore its countless sequels. The story could revolve around Ray and Julie's kids who get caught up in a similar situation as their parents did years ago. Yes, I know that's generic and pretty bland and pretty formulaic as far as it goes to making requels and legacy sequels. But if it's done in a proper fashion, I'm going to give credit where credit is due. I can't deny, of course, that if they do go in that route, that's a bit predictable. That's a bit formulaic. But, you know, formulaic and predictable isn't always bad. That's another important thing to remember. So you guys, let me know down in the comment section below. Are you disappointed that now it seems even more likely that I still know what you did last summer is going to be ignored? Do you not care? I know some people think that movie is terrible. While I will say that I am a fan of the movie, when I rewatch it, I see where people are coming from. It's it's not hitting the same way it did when I was a kid. That first movie, some people even think that one's terrible. I still think that first movie holds up a lot better than the sequel. So if they ignore I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, I'll be able to live without it. But diving into the last thing here today, talking about Chucky Season 3. Chucky Season 3 has a working title, according to Production Weekly, of Forever Young. Now... We know that it's going to start filming later this month on the 27th, but what does the working title tell us about the upcoming season, if anything? Because it could mean nothing. But just to speculate, Forever Young could be in reference to our trio of characters, Lexi, Devin, and Jake, who could be experiencing a high school graduation of sorts this season if a time jump occurs after the events that unfold in season three. And maybe it's in reference to that event that takes place in season three. Forever Young could also be referencing a different event like Chucky who could successfully pass his soul into another child that our survivors don't expect. Thus, Charles is forever young since he can easily swap his soul around from person to person, including a child, which is something we've always known ever since the first movie back in 1988. Or, with that being said, could Season 3 have Chucky split his soul into each member of the trio individually, have them commit some type of crime before he gets them killed, and this could be his form of revenge on them, Similar to what happened with Alice, Nika's niece. But time will tell if Forever Young is relevant at all whatsoever, because again, like I was saying, it could be useless. I just wanted to point out that the working title is Forever Young and see what you guys think about it and if you think it could potentially tie into the story. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and there's a video in the description. I will have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.